L'Opera dei Pupi, or Puppet Theatre, emerged in Sicily at the beginning of the 19th century and enjoyed great success among the popular classes on the island. The puppeteers told stories that were based, in the majority of cases, on medieval chivalric literature, as well as Italian poems of the Renaissance and the lives of saints or of notorious bandits. The two main puppet schools in Sicily, Palermo and Catania, are distinguished principally by the size and shape of the puppets, by the techniques for operating the puppets, and by the variety of colourful stage backdrops. These theatres were often family-run businesses, and the traditions and techniques were passed down from generation to generation. However, the carving, painting and making of the very sophisticated puppets, with their intense expressions, was a task the puppeteers left to specialised craftspeople, employing traditional methods. There are several types of marionettes. This Punchinello is controlled by a wire attached to his head and two wires attached to his hands. This marionette has wires that allow more elaborate movements to be made. while this one is controlled by the puppeteer from underneath, using his hands. A set of precise rules applies to each character. For example, Marionettes representing the devil are characterised by their leaps and flights across the stage and their frequent entrances and exits from above. The marionette is guided by the puppeteer's left hand. In order to relieve some of the weight of the marionette, the puppeteer's arm is supported by a brassard suspended from the flies. The hidden work of the puppeteer requires many long hours of practice in order to attain the fluidity that makes the marionettes so lifelike. Traditionally, puppeteers would constantly endeavour to outdo each other with their shows, and they exerted great influence over their audience. In the past, these performances were spread over several evenings, and provided opportunities for the different social classes to go out and to chat about everyday things. This kind of theatre reflected the Sicilians' feeling of belonging and their awareness of a common identity. The dialogue in these performances was largely improvised by the puppeteers.